Well, with behavior-based interview questions, uh, what employers are doing is they're looking at past behavior to get a predictor of future behavior. Let's say they ask, can you give me an example of a time where you took initiative to solve a problem? They want to hear a story about where you took initiative. And you need to organize that using the STAR technique, where you can talk about situation, task, action, and result. What I see a lot of students tend to do is they'll tell us a great story and forget the results. That's like watching a great movie and not seeing the ending of it. Well, the STAR technique helps organize their thoughts. Behavioral interviewing is telling a story. You're telling us a story, you're setting up the situation so we understand exactly what you're doing. You know, you set the frame, you set the picture for us in our minds. The task is, um, you know, what was the problem, what was the issue, set that piece up. And I want to know what you did, not my manager did this or we did this. I want to hear a lot of I, what did you specifically do, and the results, how did it end? It's like telling a joke and not giving the punchline if you don't add the results in there. When they get those behavioral questions, take it back to a, a specific example, explain what they did, set it up, give the details, and include a lot of names, dates, times, numbers, and places. The more details you can give, it really helps the employer understand um, the depth and breadth of what you accomplished. Oftentimes, if a student is giving examples that say, we did this and we did that when they're talking about a committee, I will stop them and say, that's great that your committee did that, but what specifically did you do? And what I find oftentimes is that they didn't do anything. You really want to kind of go through your resume, um, go through, even, even go through the last couple of months of emails that you've, that you've had from student organizations, from your work, from different classes, and really get into the detailed, one or two or three detailed stories that you can tell that you can actually know exactly what happened, exactly what the concept was, who was in the meeting, what the real problems were, what the detailed actions were, and not only what you did, but some of the options that you considered um, or that the group considered before making the final decision, and then details in terms of what the result was. Well, David, can you tell me about a time where you set a goal and you thought you did everything possible to achieve that goal but still fell short? Sure. Um, actually, I had a similar experience to that during my internship during the summer of 2010 with uh, UBS Investment Bank. Um, I was working in their global healthcare group, and really one of the first type of tasks that we had was working with one of our major clients on a merger model. So we were doing a pitch for them and coming up with a hypothetical merger situation. And my task was to create the merger model and come up with the analysis so that we could show them our numbers so that it made sense. So one of my senior um, associates came to me and said, David, you know, this is, this is your task. Go ahead with it. We're not going to help you out. Do your very best, and we'll come to you at the end of the day. So I literally spent the next, I would say, 12 hours of that day working on a computer on my merger model, which I thought, man, you know, I've spent 12 hours. This is going to be perfect. There's nothing wrong with this. And when I finally presented my model saying, you know, we've got accretion here. We're going to make money off of this deal. The client's going to love it. The very first thing they did once I printed it out was take a red pen and cross an X all the way through it. And they said, you did absolutely everything wrong that we were looking for. And although you spent 12 hours, we're now going to have to go and redo this. So me, you know, this is my first week, first week as an intern sitting there thinking, wow, I spent way more time than any full-time person would actually spend on this. And I did it all wrong. How is this possible? I'm not going to get a job at all. And now um, all my dreams of doing investment banking are ruined from this one engagement. And what I later realized was the fact that, you know, when you come in, and this is what they told me at the end of the summer once I finally received a full-time offer, when you come in, they understand you don't know everything. You know, you're not supposed to know every single thing about investment banking or your internship in general. But when, they, when you come in, they want to see that you are putting forth the full effort, you're going above and beyond, and really trying to do your best in terms of what they show you and what they want you to do. So at the end, that same senior analyst who crossed an X direct, directly through, which you know, I, I will admit it was incorrect, my work, he later said, you know, David spent half of a day on this model. He didn't give up. He was determined. He was confident in his work and what he thought was right. Even though it ended up being wrong, that same determination was what helped him to really be a perfect candidate for what we're looking for as a full-time 
um, analyst. So although I failed, and I definitely did fail, I did my best and I learned from that experience and ultimately uh, got a return offer from UBS. First, the candidate provides information about his project for UBS and the amount of time and work he put into the project, which helps the interviewer gain a real understanding of his efforts and the value of the task. Next, the candidate structured his example using the STAR technique, Situation, Task, Action, Results. Situation, explaining his UBS summer internship with the Global Healthcare Group. Task, explaining the merger model he was developing for a client to share UBS's financial expectations for the merger. Action, the amount of time and effort he put into the project. Results, the lessons learned from his mistakes and how he overcame these failures to receive an offer for full-time employment. Third, the interview candidate's story was focused on a specific project and experience rather than a story about how he generally overcomes failure. Finally, the candidate's story was specifically about his experience and not a shared story about a team's accomplishments. Mm -hmm.